Welcome back to O3FM. We've partnered with G Fuel, and if you want 15% off your whole order, click the link in the top of the description, or you can go to gfuel.com and use code 03FM at checkout. Enjoy the episode. Welcome back to O3FM. This is episode, what is it, 68? Yeah. All right, 68. Mm -hmm. 68. Subtract 70 from 2, get 68. I ate and I ate till I got sick on the floor. 8 times 8 equals 64. Plus 4, you have 68. Wait, if you subtract 70 from 2, don't you get negative 68? Yes. Hmm. Anyway, we're back for another episode. Um, shout out G Fuel, Code 3 fm at checkout. Let's jump right into this episode. We're getting we're getting this episode done. That's all I gotta say. This might be this might be a record record low length. Kevin and I have been having a phenomenal be a phenomenally b busy week. So yeah, but um, yo, I wanted to jump into this. This is absolutely absurd to me, um, especially because I I kind of like have just been getting into running a little bit, especially with the Spartan races. But bro, the new marathon record has just been set. So, I'll just read this really quick. Kelvin Kiptum set a new world record marathon time today at two hours. Kelvin Kiptum. <laughs> K-I-P-T-U-M. I hope I'm pr pronouncing it right. But, bro, he ran the, the marathon in two hours and 35 seconds. Do you even want to know insane. what that pace is? Take, take a guess what that pace is. I don't even. How, how many miles is a marathon? 26.2. So, that's 120 minutes. <laughs> No, don't get mathematical. You're supposed to just guess. Four miles a minute? No, four miles. No, four. Four minutes a mile? Yeah. Oh, dude, you're underballing this guy. Uh oh. But, okay, yeah. anyway, he ran a 436 for oh, 26. That was fucking close. What? That was, like, almost dead on. Yeah, you, I mean, you were close. Well, 36 seconds off, which is, like, a lot. That's true, if you 20-something times. Yeah, so bro, he ran a 4.36 pace for 26.2 miles. Like, that is that absurd. Is, that's some super, that's some like superhero type shit. That that's actually crazy. some superhuman type shit. So, the, the, the previous record was, um, so he beat up the previous record by 34 seconds. And bro, okay. he's only 23 years old. Damn. Da like... That's, what, two, three years older than us? We're failing. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought this was crazy. Some are even arguing that that's one of the greatest athletic achievements of all time. Oh, it's definitely up. Without a doubt, that's up there. That's I'm not going to lie. That's insane. I think it is. I would have, if you, if you asked me that without saying that that was a record, I would have said that that was impossible. Do you, okay, so do you think this is more impressive or do you think running a hundred miles straight is more impressive? I don't know, a four and a half minute Bro. pace for 20 something miles is fucking crazy. Four, 436. Bro, I run like, I run like eight minute miles and I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I, the, the greatest day of my life is when I ran a, um, a mile repeat in like six and a half minutes. Yep. Wait, that's really good. Like six and a half minutes, six and a half minute break, and then six and a half minutes for another mile. Wait, that's really I good. I thought I was. I thought I was on top of the fucking world. <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to lie. I thought, like, the world record would have been, like, a six-minute pace for a marathon. Until I saw this. I'm not even going to lie. No, that's fucking... 436 is just absurd. Shout out this guy. Absolute mess. I, got, I can't wait to when I'm editing this and I get to see what he looks like. Yeah. No, I saw a video of him just crossing the finish line. And, dude, a 436 pace, like, on video, it probably doesn't look that crazy. I thought it looked pretty crazy. But, um... 436 pace is like so Dude, he must have been like fast. full on sprinting. Yeah, the yeah, whole exactly. Marathon. The for, whole marathon. Well, imagine full sprinting for two hours straight. That's insane. That is that has to be one of the most like ridiculous athletic achievements of all time. Ever, ever. That's so <laughs> yeah, I just want to talk about that. I think that's insane. No, that's crazy. But let's jump into it. Another topic. So I think Amazon Prime Day passed, right? But Amazon had another like October event. It was called, wait, I just want to pull it up. It was called, wow, that's an awkward silence. 
Prime Big Deals Day. So, bro, Prime is just Prime is just getting all their deals out. They just want to like make money, bro. But I guess it's to like kind of beat Black Friday in a way, which is Black Weekend. Oh my god. Bro, no, even it's like it's like month now. It's a month long period. I swear. Yeah, it's so stupid. But anyway, bro, you want to know like the stacks on this day? These two days. It was two days. Bro, okay. 150 million items sold. I thought you were going to say dollars, not items. Items. What? Bro, but, Jeff Bezos is on his damn shit. Yo, I, I thought this was funny. It says, shoppers appear to have shunned big item purchases in favor of stocking up on essentials, such as protein powder and batteries. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, did you order anything? No. Bro, the only thing I ordered was like a Robin costume for this for this thing I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. My, my parents almost ordered like one of the doorbells, like the electronic doorbells. Okay. Because it was like 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if they did. Bro, I should have ordered my, my Halloween costume. I'm kind of mad I didn't, low key. Would have got an insane Damn, I deal. Definitely, I definitely should have bought some shit now that I think about it. I'm going trick or treating this year. You are? Yeah, bro, obviously. What age do you stop trick or treating? Thirty two. Like what? Thirty two. I was gonna say like when you retire. <laughs> when you retire? No, wait. Are, yeah. are 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 you being real? Yeah, actually, that. I'll, what? When do you think people should stop trick or treating? Um. I was thinking like twenty one. To be honest. I think it's situation dependent because like now, like I'm not away at school. Like I'm just at home. So, like, if I'm a fucking 20-year-old kid and going door-to-door by myself, I think that's a little crazy. <laughs> no, you know you know I'm joking. Yeah, what do you think? I, How old do you think? If you want a real answer, I said 21 as a joke just because, like, you know, clip cl- kind of, like, clickbait it. Um, I genuinely think the age you, you should stop trick-or-treating is, like, and th- even I feel like this is kind of pushing it. Like, max 16? That, maybe? I think that's a little young, honestly. You think it's young? I think, like, high, like up until, high, like, you're, if you're still in high school, I think you can go. But it has to be with friends. You can't go by yourself. Oh, yeah, you can't go by yourself. Or especially not with your parents. That is absurd. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I'm trying to think. When did it? I low-key, I, I think I might have went, like, once when I was 18 as a joke with my girlfriend. <laughs> Grab some candy. But, yo, people, like, kids nowadays, like, don't go out to trick-or-treat. I swear. Oh, yeah. It's like a ghost town. It's, like, not what it used to be, which sucks, because I used to I used to love Halloween. And I don't mean trick-or-treating, because obviously I'm not trick-or-treating anymore. But, I mean, like, the whole vibe of it gets killed when, when kids don't go out trick-or-treating. It's no fun. Yeah. So. And I feel like that kind of happened after COVID, which kind of sucks, but. Those damn iPad kids. Bro. Yo, what was your favorite candy you used to get, um... When trick or treating, cause like sometimes you'd come across the houses that gr- gave out some whack shit, and then also you'd come across the houses that gave you like the full size candy bars, and it was like, no, we need to address the real issue where like those families that like, they're the healthy family on the block, like they give like fig newtons and shit like that. Fig like, newtons apples. and like veggie sticks, bro. <laughs> yeah, like get the fuck out of here, dude. That's Cut absurd. That's damn bullshit. No. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going for the candy, Reese's. Candy corn. Psych. That shit's fucking disgusting. No. L- no, no, no. Candy corn's actually... I don't even think you eat it. You, you're the one that eats it, right? I like candy corn, yeah. I actually... Jake, I, I found out like a month ago he eats candy corn. I actually didn't even know people ate that shit. It's so rank. <laughs> I, I I don't go out of my way to buy it, but if it is in front of me, I will eat it. It's it, it's just sugar, honestly. I will go out of my way to avoid it. I mean, like... It's disgusting. I don't think it's like my top candy. Like, I'm not in love with it, but I'll, I'll definitely eat it. I don't think it's bad. I think the fact that you even eat it is crazy. Why? What? What's wrong about it? It's no. I didn't think people actually ate it. It's so bad. It doesn't even really have a taste. It's kind of just bland. I yes, feel it like does. it has a taste. What? But it's like the iconic Halloween candy. So you need to have some of it somewhere. You just don't eat it. It's like a decoration. Yeah. Wait. So what's your answer though for the candy question? I feel like this is broad, but I'm gonna say like anything like full sized. Like, you, because you used to know, like, which houses had the full size. You used to know, bro. Like, there was a person that lived down the street from me that worked for M&M. What? And this dude would fucking, 
You're joking. I swear to God, bro. It was like Christmas. That's so plug. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what? That's so plug. Yeah, that's plug, bro. Plug, dog. Plug. plug. Um, bro, I, I used to, I'm not gonna lie. I used to hate the people. And this isn't like, oh, I think I, I, or, okay, let me just say it. I hate the people who would, you know, people that would leave baskets out. I would hate the people that would take the whole basket. And I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's a lot of like, guys who think they're like cool and like acting cool in front of their friends but i used to hate that shit no no if you take more when it says please take one you're just a fucking scum oh especially if it says please take one it's like dude oh yeah like why are you what doing you that ass about it like that those are the kind of people that ruin halloween honestly oh yeah but yeah you know, i feel like some people get aggravated by halloween they don't want to answer their door well that's it's not like the code just turn your like porch light off oh yeah that's right i forgot i forgot that was a thing never mind all right l jake um yo i have something this is like kind of new i think it's been in construction for a while but have you seen videos of the vegas sphere dude it's finished yeah, oh no, no no i know i know that's why okay. I, I think it's been in construction yeah, for a it's while it's the coolest building on the fucking planet and i have no idea where it came from bro it's just massive one day it just showed up it just showed, like, have you seen the, have you seen the videos of the emojis on it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's hilarious. It's so funny. And, and so, yo, I got some stats. Like, these are, these are absurd to me. Wait, I'll, I have it, I have the stats up here. I just, okay, yeah. Um, Bro, inside of the sphere, maybe inside and outside, there's 1.2 million LEDs. I think that's just outside. But, but it's also on the inside, No. Aren't, there's probably, there's like, you don't think there's two different screens? Well, the no. The outside? Well, yeah, but is the 1.2 million including the outside and the inside or just like? I thought I heard that the 1.2 million was just the outside. Oh. But I could be told, I could be wrong. I, could I don't wrong. know. But the project, bro, the project was $2.3 billion. <laughs> like what? That's like the fucking <coughs> USS... Fitzgerald or whatever it is that ship that they're sending to the Middle East right now oh yeah I heard about that the biggest battleship in human history that's it's insane like 14 billion dollars 14 bill how many people do you think work on that ship take a guess that one ship how 3k many people are on it? I think it's 5600 work on that ship oh my god and it moves up to like 30 nautical miles an hour so it Jeez. actually can like it actually cruises. <laughs> yeah. Which is kinda sick. Yeah. It must be massive. I wonder the the, the length of it. I'm gonna, but wait, I the Las Vegas sphere is three hundred and sixty six feet tall. What? Yeah. You How? <laughs> and it's five hundred and sixteen feet wide. Five hundred and sixteen feet wide? Yeah. Bro, the we're USS li <laughs> Gerald R. Ford. We're living on the brink of human advancement. <laughs> no, we are. Between we're, we're the between the marathon, start flying over it. this boat. We get we're getting flying cars soon. Okay. The USS R. Gerald Ford is the largest warship ever built. It is 337 meters long, 78 meters wide, and 76 meters high. I don't really know meters, not gonna lie. I was gonna say, should I convert that to feet? Feet feet gives me a little bit more of a but I mean it just sounds big. What about feet, bananas? Well two what, two point two or uh, two point two feet in a meter, right? So Dude, wait, no 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 no. It's it's eleven hundred feet long. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that's massive. So what is that? Three football over three football fields. A football field's a hundred yards, right? Yeah. So that's three hundred feet. So it's it's almost four football fields long. God, that's crazy, dude. That's insane. That's fucking massive. I got something in my eye. That's so cool, though. That, yeah, that's absolutely absolutely absurd. Bro, imagine <coughs> you're fucking Nemo swimming around, and you look up, and you see a battleship that's 1100 feet long 
I'm not. I'm what honestly not surprised. Dude, you probably thought the sun went down. Yeah, probably. But, um, yo, quickly back to the Vegas Sphere. The first concert was U2. Well, is that a W or is that an L? I feel like that's kind of an L. You think that's an L? I feel like that would have been an L, a W, like. I. I think it's 15 years ago. I think it's a W for the older generation. Yeah. But I feel like it's like, it's a new thing. You need a new person in there. Who do you think should have been first Vegas Sphere concert or performance? Fucking Taylor Swift, probably. T Swift? I mean, that would honestly I feel make like sense. It, would, it, w- it makes the most sense. But you also. But I'm think- trying to think of who would have like the best visuals for the yeah, sphere. Who would utilize it the most? Well, probably some EDM concert. Oh, oh, that would be absurd. Or like, I feel like Travis Scott would probably be really cool there. Travis Scott. I'm trying to... Playboy Cardi. Like, like Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> that, no, somebody with energy would be crazy. Yeah. And I think with that kind of like, that like Travis Scott kind of style would be insane. The visuals. Yeah, like someone, does anyone that will utilize the screens to the highest capacity? Yeah, yeah. But I think, I, bro, I thought I had another topic. I, I have one, I have one. All right, run that. All right. Would you rather never wear underwear for the rest of your life or never wear socks for the rest of your life? So you can either wear underwear and no socks or socks and no underwear. Can I wear shorts with built-in liner or is that like cheating the system? That's kind of cheating the system. I'm not going to lie. I feel like that's cheating. Like going out of your way to get shorts with built-in liners cheating. Well, like, like I have, have I already have two. I already have a pair too. I think I think that's fine. Okay, but like okay, or no socks. I gotta go well, no you underwear. Can't, you can't yeah, but like you can't do like wear your shorts with your liner and then put like pants over that. Yeah 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 yeah. I know okay. what you mean. I'm I'm doing no underwear. I'm just shooting at commando. Yeah, like I think that's a good answer. No socks would just be so inconvenient. And I feel like and so uncomfortable. Your, your whole feet would be, just bleed all day. I'm trying to. I'm just thinking about like running, hiking, like any sort of activity would just like I would be suffering. Yeah, imagine putting like boots on with no socks. Oh my god! I mean, I don't wear boots. Ugh. Like I mean, hiking boots. But that that I I know you got like the boots boots. Like, put them up on screen. Yeah, imagine cowboy boots with no socks. That's yeah. That would hurt. But also imagine like. Imagine just shitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You have no right. protection. You have no protection. Also, like, bro, no underwear is kind of crazy. I know, dude. Because if you fart, it just, like... Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, didn't it know sometimes, like, when you just hang out in your underwear? Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, that's true. Yo, do you see that? Like, on my face? Because... The light shade? I have, like, the blinds, yeah. yeah. Um, the light shades? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just call blinds the light shades. The sun shades? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, I, I gotta confirm. I gotta lock in running it commando. Final same, answer. Same, same. For sure, for sure. But, yeah. Okay, one more that I just thought of. Okay. Which is real, this is a real possibility. Would you rather never hear again or never see again? This is, no, this is like a very real question. Yeah, you could go deaf or blind. Like, it's not like an absurd question. Um, would you rather never see again or never hear again? I think I'd rather never see again. What? That's Oh, wait, no, no, no. Did I say see? No, I meant hear. I meant hear. Okay, I'm in okay, here. okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Okay. I don't know why I said that. Because I was thinking about my answer. And I was like, yeah, I'd definitely like, rather not hear. And I don't... I hope this doesn't like offend anybody. Oh, yeah. We're not trying to be offensive of... at all. It's just like a full-on... like. Yeah. Just, would you rather... Just a rather. straight discussion. Um, you yeah, know, I think... I think sight is just so incredibly important. What? Anyway. Yeah, I think... I think... Um, especially as someone who's a very visual-based person... I think sight is just a little bit more important than um, I, than I audio. Without a doubt, sight. Because, like, no offense to, like, blind people, but, like, dude, if you can't see, there's nothing. Yeah. Like, I, what would you do all day? Listen to music? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. 
I don't know how what what somebody does in that kind and of scenario. And I'm talking scenario. like full on blind because I know there's like, a, it's like a spectrum. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can Some... see, I'm like just black. <coughs> yeah, no, it's definitely like interesting. Nothing. It's bro, it's crazy how different they probably have to live. Oh yeah. Um, it's like a completely different lifestyle. So yeah, I'm not gonna my answer. Of losing my hearing, although I would I would never wish that upon anyone. Like that's losing one of those kind of senses is just like, ugh, I can't imagine yeah. that. But alrighty, are you wanna? Let's wrap it up. I think we killed it. Twenty one minutes. Right, we gotta speed. I feel like my camera's gonna die any second. Perfect, because my phone is gonna rip soon too. 70%. So. All right, I guess that's been it. I think this might be our shortest episode ever. It's only 22, 21 and a half minutes. Yeah, so cool. It was a fun one. Um, we'll be back probably in the studio next episode. Um, yeah. Subscribe, follow, like. Use code out 3 fmgfuelcom and click the referral link in the bio for 15% off. Peace.